All right, day two here. I want to just talk to you for a second. Some people are having some, might be having some challenges that we're hearing. Okay, so if your mind will not let you feel your feet and your hands as you're doing your listening practice, okay, that's normal. That's normal if your feet and hands aren't, you know, uh, letting you experience that. Your mind is distracted. And, and so the key is, is this, this. This practice needs to be done as it's done. Feet, hands, listening. We're quieting your mind. As you move into other practices, what happens for most people is they feel their IGS closing or opening, but they don't know what they were just thinking because they're not used to paying attention to their thoughts. This is so important to slow your thinking down so you can witness it, so you can actually experience it. So in feeling your feet and feeling your hands, right, you're quieting your mind. Your mind can actually think about more than one thing at once. I'm going to talk about that. There's a one layer of thought about like getting to food or something. And then there's another layer of stress. And then there's another layer and there's different layers. And your IGS is reading all of these layers of thought. So you may be having anxiety and you're not aware of what those thoughts are because you're not used to seeing different layers. And those thoughts are creating your life. And your IGS is giving you a closed sensation saying these thoughts are not true. And if you keep thinking those thoughts, those closing thoughts, you're going to be focusing upon things that aren't good for you. Things that are not going to bring you happiness and, and joy. They'll bring you more stress and anxiety. We want to get to the, what the thoughts are so we can do what I call pivoting, which we'll be working on this week, pivoting to find an opening. And then your body opens up and then your life is more joyous and happy and you happy. And you know what thoughts are true and what thoughts to, that are going to bring you what you want. Here's the thing that's most important. If your mind begins to wander, Think of it like a puppy. Your mind is, is there to create love and safety for you, okay? And, and so if you had a box of puppies and you're watching this box of puppies and the puppy, one puppy climbs out of the box that it's in and wanders away, you wouldn't grab the puppy and bad puppy and throw it in the box, right? No, no, it's a puppy. You just pick the puppy back up, put it back in the box and go, good little guy, little oh, puppy, go just leave there. That's how I want you to be with your mind. Just put it back to focusing on your feet and your hands in a loving, gentle way. Just be like, ah, there I go again. My mind is active. That's okay. Feet, hands, listening. Feet, hands, listening. And just remember, this is a practice and it takes time. It's a skill. It's not a given that you're going to be able to quiet your mind. It's not a given you're going to be able to focus for long periods of time on your hands and your feet. You may think that you need to be. Be gentle with yourself. It's not true. I've worked with thousands of individuals. This is not simple for many, many people in the beginning. Feeling your feet in your hands. It's a different format, a different way of using your mind in your life. So just be gentle, okay? You can do this. Just keep practicing. You're doing good. Don't worry about it. I promise. Just remember Miyagi approach. I'm going to get you there little practice by little practice. This is supposed to be fun and easy and engaging. Go ahead and give us com comments if you're, if you're challenged and our mentors and our coaches will, will take care of you as well as me. And just go ahead and keep going. All right. Keep going. Thank you so much for doing the Recreating You game. I hope you're having extraordinary ahas already. People have from day one. And so no matter where you are in the game, there's amazing things that you're learning about yourself and the power that lies within you. If you would like to have your questions answered, please put them in the comments below. We do our best to get back to comments or so does our, our members <laughs> and our students. They love to go ahead and, and support people in learning to use their IGS. You are welcome to email us at support at smartsoul.com to get more deep into the programs, or you can go to smartsoulacademy.com if you already know you want to jump in and learn how to master this extraordinary thing that you were born with, your internal guidance system. There you'll find 16 programs that lead you through all areas of your life and weekly group coaching with me so that we can work on your specific issues and supporting you and getting aligned with your purpose, your prosperity, and peace. That's smartsoulacademy.com, and it's all available to you for $25 a month. I know, amazing can afford this less than Starbucks each week. Come check it out. SmartSoulAcademy.com.